What's up guys? Uh, making a video response to uh, Bruce, which is Nebulax123. Um, he's doing his 100 subs contest and uh, it's running until the 15th. I'm fairly sure. And all you have to do to enter is be one of his subs. So uh, if you like my channel, then chances are you will like Bruce's. So I suggest you go uh, sub to him and get in on his contest and have a chance to win some of the generous things he's giving away. So, contest is real easy and creative and fun. Uh, first, though, uh, before I get into that, Bruce is a good guy. He does uh, testing. So, you know, I automatically like him because he, he tests. Uh, Kylie, Bruce, all the people that do the testing, I love watching it because it's of particular interest to me. And also, he's a uh, He's just a really laid-back guy. He's been around the block. Uh, he knows what he's doing. He's seen the knife world from a, uh, a broad perspective of many, many years. Uh, he's seen it from the days of old to the days of new and everywhere in between. And that gives a unique perspective that not a lot of us young people can give, honestly. I'm not calling Bruce old by any means. I'm not calling you old. <laughs> not at all. Uh, I just enjoy listening to people talk who have been there and done that and and can give real world experience and not just opinions uh, they've read from somewhere else. It, it's nice. It's refreshing. And plus he can tell stories and, and you can just sit there and listen to him and enjoy it. I know I do. So he's a really good guy. If, if you guys uh, feel like you can do it, go over there and sub him and even enter his contest. Uh, He's more likely to push out some some cool more more testing vids and stuff like that if he has more subs. More support equals more videos, and that's the cycle of YouTube. So his contest was uh, name Santa's utility knife, his pocket knife, and also name Santa's bushcraft knife, and why. Uh, I think I'll start with his utility knife, his pocket knife, his EDC. Um, Santa has a big, big coat on. Uh, and last time I was talking to him, he was really into carrying two knives like I do. I really love carrying two knives, and that's kind of who I got my idea from, was from talking to Santa. And uh, <laughs> my fiance smirking over there. She didn't want me to tell everybody that I actually talked to Santa, so. He's really into carrying two knives, and I really understand that, because I always at least have two knives on me, one in the right front pocket and one in the left front pocket, sometimes one in the right rear pocket, and maybe sometimes one in the left rear pocket, too. So I can have up to four knives on me if I'm feeling really neurotic and weird that day. Um, Santa doesn't just carry one knife, and, and that's that's cool that's his prerogative and the main reason is because one knife just doesn't do it for Santa if he was stuck with one knife it would of course be the Swiss Army knife because Santa is an original dude and the Swiss Army knife is the quintessential original utility knife I mean, you have your blade which I just tested and we found out it performs exceptionally well uh, and Santa knew that already and he's been trying to drill that into my head for a while but I'm uh, I'm hard-headed, so I had to test it for myself. I'm sorry, Santa. I apologize. You were right. Uh, he does a lot of traveling, as you know, but it, it's all in a short period of time. So he needs a he needs a tool that is portable, yet useful. And a Swiss Army knife is all of those things. Every one of those things. It's got screwdrivers to fix his sleigh. Uh, an awl in case he's fatter. He can he can punch a new hole in his belt. I mean. Everybody needs to do that from time to time, especially around Christmas. Uh, bottle openers in case he opens a beer or two. Can openers, food, you know. I mean, the, the reindeer have to eat, so that's a big one. Reindeer food comes in cans. I don't know if you've ever bought any, but I bought a few cans myself. And it always comes in the cans, and they're really hard to deal with. So the can opener is pretty much essential. Uh, 
Santa does like carrying this because it is so useful, but Santa also has taste, and he also has a wife, and his wife is pretty generous, and uh, I know for a fact that Santa carries a Sabenza like I have here, because Santa, he's always giving people gifts, and he's so generous. Uh, sometimes people give him gifts, and since he is such a big knife guy, uh, Miss Claus got him a Sabenza, of course, because it's the best is best in the production knife world. Uh, Santa has a pretty tumultuous relationship with Chris Reeve. Uh, me and Santa talked on a pretty regular basis about how Chris Reeve is kind of a, a an asshole sometimes. And he's a smart guy, makes really nice knives, but he's he doesn't have the best people skills. And Santa is all about people skills. I mean, he, he's all about making people happy. So him and Chris Reeve don't jive. Uh, so it was up to Miss Claus to get him a Sabenza. And while Santa doesn't agree with everything Chris Reeve does, he really does like Chris Reeve's knives. So he always has one of these on him. It reminds him of Miss Claus uh, when he's out halfway across the world on December 25th. This reminds him of, of his wife and brings him back home. And I think that's good. Uh, Anything that can remind you of home is is more than welcome, and Santa's a regular dude just like us, so he's gotta he's gotta get grounded from time to time. I haven't gotten to talk to Santa about his bushcraft knife, so I kind of speculated here. Um, I kind of made some assumptions, and I think I was wrong. First, I went for the SE4 because you know he's a bushcrafter. Uh, he may have to land and and build a fire or something, bust down some logs, it's thick enough to baton with, all that, but it's heavy. And Santa already carries a lot of stuff in his sleigh, and the reindeer hate it. They don't want a knife that weighs half a pound in the sleigh when he could have something that's lighter. So this is wrong. Santa doesn't use this. Santa uses the plain old carbon steel Mora. It's extremely light, small package, but it's still very effective. Uh, this thing can baton just like the SE4. If you're careful which Santa is, he's pretty well versed in bushcraft and bushcraft skills and what it takes to be a good bushcrafter. So he can handle a Mora and make it do exactly what an SE4 can do uh, and much, much more because he's good at it, you know. It's got adequate thickness. It's got a nice Scandi grind. It is carbon steel, but it only has to perform reliably one night out of the year and it, it will do that and the main reason that Santa likes this knife is that for the same weight and cost of the SE4 he can have three or four of these on the sleigh and if one of them gets lost or damaged he has another backup ready to go uh, and that means a lot to Santa a lot redundancy is is really one of his big points so the plain old carbon steel Mora, the cheap but effective carbon steel Mora, along with the Chris Reeve Sabenza and the Swiss Army knife, pretty much rounds out Santa's uh, user knives right here. So, anyway, I hope this clears things up, guys. I know a lot of people have been asking me about what Santa carries and what he uses, and uh, so I hope this helps you out. And Bruce, I hope this. Uh, this meets the requirements for your video. Uh, anyway, guys, go sub him, Nebulax123. I'm gonna gonna put him down in the description right here. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.